In this video, we're going over how to soft reset your Samsung Galaxy AL2S if the screen freezes. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. If you find this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of our new videos. Also, make sure you follow us on Amazon for our live tech video reviews and also best tech recommendations. In today's video, we're doing a quick um, walkthrough of how to soft reset your phone if the screen freezes. Now, uh, on older phones, when you used to be able to take the, the back of the phone off and take the battery out, um, that was really the process if your phone froze. You just took the battery out, put it back in, and the phone restarts itself. Well, guess what? All the newer phones, you can't open the back. You're stuck. So what do you do if the screen freezes and you need to just totally restart the phone? I'm gonna show you right now. So, all you'll need to do is hold down on the power and volume button, or volume down button at the same time. I like to take my left hand, reach around the phone, hold volume down right here with my um, middle finger, and use my thumb to hold the power button. Just count one, two, three, and then we're gonna hold it, don't let go of it, until the phone fully restarts, okay? so. One, two, three, hold. Now, what you'll see is it will take the phone to this screen, which is normally the screen you would go to to restart the phone. However, if, oh, let it go. It happened quick. Usually it takes a little bit longer, but about five to 10 seconds you'll need to hold those two buttons to trigger the soft reset. Now, if the screen was working, you would just tap the power button or tap the restart button. But again, this is if your screen is totally frozen and it's not responding to you touching. What we just did is called a soft reset and it literally just restarts the phone. It mimics taking the battery out, putting it back in. And if there was something that caused the phone to slow down or to glitch, this will usually fix it. However, if your phone restarts itself and the touchscreen still is not working, that means you have a bigger problem and you will need to have your phone fixed probably at a repair center. I would encourage you to find your local uh, cell phone store and you can bring it in and have them do a, a more thorough diagnostic to see if there's a, a problem with your screen or a problem with the phone. You can also reach out to Samsung at samsung.com. They do have live web support, usually 24 hours, where you can get help with trying to troubleshoot your phone. So, hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.